Hey, yo, what up? I'm Travis Scott. These are my essentials. Hey guys, it's Hank here. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. I don't know if you've seen those like, I'm Travis Scott and these are my essentials. Well, I wanted to do like, what are my PE essentials, okay? I wanna get right into it. So this is in no particular order, by the way, but one of the most essential things to me is a watch. I actually have on my Apple watch right here. And the way that this is set up, I actually have a stopwatch feature right here. I touch that button and the stopwatch comes on and automatically I can start timing my sets, guys because timing is like so important as far as like, even when I'm doing manual stretches and I wanna make sure I have the appropriate time under tension, that time is gonna be important. So you have to have a good marker of basically time. Now, normally I have this one for display, but normally I have like, you know, I prefer a GMT. This isn't the root beer GMT for those that know, but it has this rotating bezel with the arrow. If I were to start PE right now, I would set my bezel so it's exactly on the minute hand. When I look back, I would be able to see like how the minute hand progresses. Obviously I prefer a more traditional watch. This is what I use when I'm working out. So next is going to be something that some of you are probably familiar with if you've seen my progress pictures, but this like, this is my OG flexible ruler, okay? So when I first started like PE, I didn't really have any measurement equipment and it's so important to have a good before and after. And in hindsight, this is bad because it's so bendy, but I thought it was gonna be bendy enough where I could actually appropriately measure like circumference. You, you can't. So that's part of the reasons why I have dog crap like beginning girth measurements because I thought I could get it with this and it just it just doesn't bend enough to give you an, act or an accurate measurement. I ordered this off Amazon. It also had, if you look here, so it doesn't even start quite at the zero. I actually had to try to like file this down a little bit. Technically, I'm a little bit bigger, than like, like maybe like a millimeter or so because there's like a millimeter of plastic before the actual zero that shows. But you need to get a good standard unit of measurement. Personally, like even though this is a kind of a dog crap measurement, I think it adds or not, a, I mean, the ruler is fine, it just bends a little bit, but I do think it adds a measure of consistency when in every single photo you see that I'm using the same ruler. It's not like, oh, well, in one ruler, a ruler on this measurement and the other ruler on this measurement, I consistently use this. And I think it's very important just for credibility that you use the same measurement device in every photo if you're going to actually document your journey or you plan on, you're insane and you plan on making it public like me, okay? Now, along with that, I have my little like paper tailor's tape here, which I actually had to fold down right at the zero marker. Okay, you can see it's actually like folded perfectly. Um, I'm not cheating on this. This was actually free. I found this in one of my colleagues' office. They, they give it out in doctor's offices. You don't have to spend money to get some. Some people actually go to even like paint stores and they I think they have those like wooden mixers and some of those actually have measurements on it, if I'm not mistaken. I heard that from somebody. But there's ways you can get like free, free rulers. I'm sure if you Googled or asked like chat GPT, how do I get a free like ruler? It would list some places for resources. So guys, next, you're gonna think that I'm like hawking stuff at you. I don't care if you buy my products, guys. But vigor is absolutely essential. Like of all of my list, this is absolutely one of my top three things. Now you could substitute for just a high quality citrulline based product. It doesn't matter. Okay, excuse me. This one I specifically formulated guys. Of course, I'm going to use my own product, but I always use a scoop of this before I work out and a scoop of this before bed to help with recover and recovery, endothelial function, erection quality. Just, I, I just think this is an amazing supplement and I personally dry scoop it. As many of you all know, I just actually took my scoop a second ago. High quality citrulline based product. You need it in your regimen, okay? I think you do. I think it's extremely negligent if you are not using at least citrulline. So next is going to be so I have an iPhone with a like a magnetic back that I'm using to record because I don't have a super high quality camera. But basically imagine this is my iPhone. This is a magnet and it sticks on the back. I use this, so I actually set my phone up and I just hands free and I use it to like watch content, watch material. Believe it or not, when I use my water-based device, I actually have one of these that is like literally stuck to within the shower. When I come in, I just put my phone right up there like and I'm able to basically use my device hands-free that way, that way I can have both hands on the pump. This thing was like literally like $3 off Amazon, but I really like it. It's just, it's has a perfect angle. It kind of rotates around so I can change it from landscape to portrait. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I love my little MagSafe phone holders. I cannot do without them. So this is a kind of odd one, but this is actually basically nut powder. You can see like, I have no brand affiliation with this. They're a dime a dozen. You can find them on Amazon. That's where I found this, at least in the U S but basically it's literally just like a powder, almost like, um, 
like a baby powder, if you will. I'm an old man and sometimes my nether regions literally just get like hot and sticky and sweaty. And this literally, I put this on and it's like very soothing, it's very comforting and it just makes that whole area more comfortable. Sometimes if my hands are sweaty, I will actually put a little bit of this on my hands, put a little bit of this on my junk and it helps to make manuals a lot easier. This is something that is just very important and I think kind of underrated for some people's, especially if they're doing like manual stretches, something like this can go a long way and it's pretty cheap. So next I can't demonstrate for you because I'm using my phone, but phone apps. And there's two in particular. The first one is called the Collageable app. So Callie, can you hit them with that like before and after photo of like me losing 30 pounds? When you use this app, you can actually put like your before photo and your after photo right side by side. You can add text to the photo. And guys, I'm sure there's other apps. I'm not tech savvy, okay? This is the app that I started with. It's the app that I use. I like it. It works fine for me. For some people, I think you can even do this on like Instagram. I'm not on social media. Okay, so I don't know if you can do that, but I just really like being able to have side by side when you're talking about credibility or even for yourself so you can see the difference. If you put one picture in one frame and one picture in the other frame, you can put them like in the same field of view and actually say like, oh man, this is actually a crappy measurement. Like, oh, look at how much harder I pushed in the ruler here. Or like, oh man, I really did a great job with these. These are lined up. And in this specific app, like I'm sure all the other ones, you can actually have like four or five or six different little screens that you can all put side by side. I have have one that I've used recently where it's my like starting point, my one year, and then my like three years photos that many of you guys have probably seen online. Speaking of online guys, I do have my subreddit that's more active and more focused just for like this channel and more like of a purely science-based PE approach. So if you haven't checked it out, please join me at rhink. It's private, but if you put in the request, I'll, I'll add you to the group. The next is actually something that's called the Hidden App. This is an app that I use specifically because personally I'm in a relationship, monogamous relationship where me and my partner are very open as far as our like privacy with each other more or less. I know that's hypocritical because I keep PE from her largely, but I don't want pictures of my Jimmy just floating around my photo album in case she, you know, happens to grab my phone and go through my photos. Like, I don't care guys. She trusts me. I trust her. But regardless, I put my progress photos into this app and it's like this locked app that's password protected. And even you can set it up so if somebody puts in the wrong password, it'll actually take a picture. And the next time you go in there, you can see who is trying to access this app. The reason why I like this app, because not only is it private, but you can actually change it in your phone. So like in my phone, I have it, it says like nature log or something like that, that looks really innocuous. But you know, really you open up and it's just like, log after log of my D over these past almost four years. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. But I do recommend that you have it, even if you're just in private, just and it's just you just because you can keep all your kind of intimate photos in one place and you don't have to worry about somebody opening up your phone and seeing it. The other thing is when you add it into this app, it automatically deletes it from your actual photo album. And so it's just a nice way to kind of transition. And for any of the guys that ha keep kind of racy photos on their on their phone, especially if they want to keep those photos away from other prying eyes, it's, it's also a good way to do that just with that kind of stuff. Next, I'm not going to show the whole thing because I can't, but the air tube with the gauge, the air pump, it is, I mean, it's, it's pound for pound. I think this is the very best thing you can buy. I'm not hawking stuff, guys. You can get this a dime a dozen anywhere. I think this is actually one of the high quality pumps from peakmailphysique.com. Of course, I don't have the tube attached because YouTube is why, but having a pump with a gauge, it is especially one that's high quality. It just is a, is a game changer. I used to be purely water-based and now like, so I've actually transitioned to more like actually twice a day routine, which I'll talk about in a coming video. This just makes it so much easier. In a week, if I pump 14 times, 12 of those 14 times, I'm just using an air pump. So that's really been a game changer. I was team water pump, now without a doubt, air pump all the way. And kind of along with this guys, like I'm not gonna list this, but like, cause your hands are technically free if you're blessed enough to have both hands, but obviously my hands for manual stretches. So guys, if you want, like my course is live, I put over an inch and a half in length and an inch in girth, it's documented. And if you're interested in learning my specific techniques step-by-step, step, you can either meticulously go through all my YouTube material or just check out my course. It's live now, you can check out the link in the description. So next, I might get a little bit of flack for this, but actually caffeine. Okay, so I personally, I can't stand the taste of coffee. You need to leave. And I try to limit my calories. I don't want to drink like a sugary drink. And I also don't like a bunch of artificial sweeteners just by literally taking, like I take a half of one of these, there's a 200 milligram tablets. 
um, when I need energy, especially before like actually my gym routine in the morning. So caffeine is like one of the most potent legal performance enhancing drugs that you can find. This used to be banned by WADA, by the way, guys, but just having some caffeine, especially because guys, you don't understand, I'm not gonna go into details for privacy, but like I truly am burning things at both end of the candle to have a clinic, have a family, and to keep this YouTube channel afloat. I, I need some caffeine, I need some stimulation, and if you haven't seen my video on all the positive benefits of caffeine, when it, particularly when we're talking about PE related, you guys really need to check that out. I just put, recently put that out. All right, guys, so next is going to be AirPods. I have mine in this you know case right here, okay? I won't show you them because they're kind of gross and have a little bit of earwax on them, but this is essential not only as far as my PE workouts, because especially if I'm listening to something racy to help kind of stimulate the blood flow, if you know what I mean. I don't want that like blasting over speakers, but also when I work out, having these in and having like my favorite song going when I'm, you know, tr pumping my iron, trying to get my little chicken arms up or chicken legs up, it really makes a huge difference. And these are, I don't know, one of the later generation iPods, AirPods Pro, and they have the noise cancellation, but they really just done a nice job. And I'm a Apple sheep kind of guy, guy, bah. but I really think they make good products even though it's expensive. So I recommend these if you have the funds for it. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's also better headphones. Guys, if you use better headphones that are like way cheaper than AirPods, please leave a, a comment and maybe even a link in the description to help other guys out. And actually, as you can see on my gym headphones, I actually have my other little MagSafe clip and this is a dual magnet what I do with this is I will stick this to the back of my iPhone and then this is magnetic and will literally stick to the machine. I'm also one of those weird guys. I'll have to show you guys in a like a behind the scenes clip, but I also raw dog my phone. So I don't have any kind of protector on my phone whatsoever. Therefore, I don't have like a case with MagSafe forever. But so I, I live life on the edge, guys. The, the last thing is actually this this DJI mic that I'm using right here, this thing is like super high quality. It's super easy to use for my YouTube videos. I think that's part of the reason why my quality has improved is because like I was using really crappy mics before, especially if you go to like some of my early videos or even just honestly my AirPods as the audio before. And of course guys were so polite in the way they politely reminded me that I don't have a great microphone, a little bit of sarcasm there. Uh, but this thing, it actually has dual mics on it. So I can like pull this out. I could have this on a guest and we could both, and it would pick up, both be talking. It would pick up the audio. Me and, D, me and BD are actually doing a meetup pretty soon, guys. I'm gonna bring this so we both have you know, good, good audio. So that'll be exciting coming up. But yeah, guys, that's just made a huge, a huge improvement. That was my 10 things, but like last but not least, I really wanna give a special shout out to Callie, my editor. He's just a freaking man. And I really think that in a lot of ways, like, I don't know if you guys have seen that clip of Dwayne Wade where he like dribbles down and like throws it up and just like turns and just puts his arm out. And then like LeBron comes and dunks it. Like I, I, in my mind, at least that's the way me and Callie work because I put out this raw material and then he refines it and adds additional gifs or gifs and these clips that when he sends me the edited film like I find myself like legitimately laughing out loud because of him I actually find myself enjoying my own videos more so I just wanted to give him a special shout out because he really does do great work and uh, I look forward to a long partnership with him but guys thanks for watching if you're interested in any of my products the links are all in the description below in this video until the next one guys peace and love